Hey there guys, it's Braden here for gshelper.com and today I'm going to show you how to add to an attribute every X amount of points or every X amount of a uh, certain attribute. And um, uh, for, for this example we're just going to say every five points we get in the game we're going to increase our uh, wave attribute by one. Uh, so this can be used in games that have waves and I'm sure you guys can think of other things to use this for. Uh, but, like, for example, Plants vs. Zombies, there's different waves. Uh, you could um, uh, just increase this wave attribute every, you know, X amount of points. Or if you have a game where it continues to just spawn more characters or more enemies, uh, as you increase in the game every wave, in the first wave you might have 10, uh, 10 enemies, in the second wave you might have 20 and so on. Um, and so I just thought I'd do this today. It's pretty simple and uh, easy to edit. So instead of uh, creating a rule inside this big actor that says when score equals five, you know, uh, change your attribute game.wave to game.wave plus one, and then you'd have to do that every five um, attributes. I think that's what most people would do if they don't know this. I'm not sure. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, create a couple attributes. We're going to create three integer attributes. We're going to name the first one score. We're going to name the second one wave. And we're going to name the third one every x. Alright, and let's set every x to 5. Alright, uh, this is just a blank project. I'm just going to go ahead and create an actor. And uh, we're going to go into this actor. And we're going to create an integer attribute here. And we're going to name this touch count. And we're going to set touch count to negative 1. Alright, and let's go ahead and create a rule. We're going to say when touch is pressed, change attribute, game or self touch count to open bracket touch count plus one close bracket percent game every x alright we're gonna go ahead and grab another change attribute and place it right underneath that and we're gonna say uh, we're gonna change attribute game score to game score plus one. All right, and then we're going to create another rule and we're going to say when attribute game or excuse me self touch count equals game every x minus one we're going to change attribute game wave to game.wave plus one. All right, and that's just going to add to the wave attribute every time uh, we press this actor five times. All right, and so let's go ahead and place this on the scene. Okay, and let's go ahead and create two more actors. We're going to name the first one score and the second one wave. Let's go into the score actor. I'm just going to give it a quick color. And we're going to tell it to display game.score. Alright. Let's go into the wave actor. And we're going to just give it a quick color. And we're going to tell it to display game.wave. And I'm just going to change the color here so it's easier to see. Alright, so let's go ahead and add these to your scene. Alright, we'll just place them in opposite corners. Alright, so let's go ahead and press preview. And I'm just going to touch this five times. One, two, three, four, five. So the, the, uh, the score attribute continues to update each time I touch this white actor. And so the wave attribute will increase every time we get five points. So let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, 
five. And uh, that's just an easy way to increase your score or increase your wave based upon your score um, or based upon the touch uh, the touch count. So if you wanted to change every X um, to or you wanted to say when when I touch this ten times, you can just go ahead and change this to ten. So we'll do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it added to the wave attribute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So anyway, guys, I hope this was really helpful. Uh, I'm going to be placing this file up on gshelper.com for you guys to download. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.